The creature you think you know is a lie. This isn't the roaring monster from the movies. The real Tyrannosaurus Rex was far, far worse. Forget the constant screaming. The real T-Rex likely didn't roar at all. It produced a deep, guttural rumble. A sound so low, you'd feel it in your bones before you heard it. Imagine standing in a silent forest. The ground begins to vibrate. A deep thrumming noise fills the air. Not from above, but from everywhere at once. This wasn't just sound. It was a weapon. The infrasound it generated could cause disorientation, nausea, and sheer panic. You'd be terrified before you even knew what was coming. Now picture the creature itself. Forget the scaly, lizard-like skin. New evidence suggests it had a mix of scales and sparse, bristle-like feathers, like a giant, terrifying bird of prey, and its lips, dot dot dot, it had lips. This wasn't a monster with permanently bared teeth. Its massive, banana-sized daggers were hidden, covered by fleshy lips. Making the reveal even more horrifying, when that mouth opened, it was a sudden, shocking explosion of teeth and its intelligence. It had one of the largest brains relative to its body size of any non-avian dinosaur. It was a strategic hunter. It had binocular vision better than a hawk's, an incredible sense of smell. This wasn't a dumb brute, it was a calculated predator. It would stalk its prey using the terrain for cover. Its huge legs weren't for sprinting. They were for walking, efficiently for miles. A tireless pursuit engine. You wouldn't hear it stomping from a mile away. Its massive footpads would soften its steps on the forest floor. It would be a shadow moving through the trees. A patient killer waiting for the perfect moment. Then, the attack. Not a clumsy charge. A sudden, explosive burst of power. A head the size of a refrigerator, powered by the strongest bite force of any land animal ever. It didn't just bite, it crushed. Bones shattered like glass. The ground trembles. That low-frequency rumble intensifies. Panic sets in. You can't think straight. Through the trees, you see it. Not a lizard, but a bird-like behemoth. Its eyes locked on you. It takes a step. The ground shakes with it. Its mouth is a thin, grim line. Then, it opens. And you see the true face of the king. But the scariest part about this new T-Rex, it wasn't even the apex predator of its time. Something else was hunting it. 